Meanwhile, as actor, Wally Ojo continues to make headlines for his big win at the African Magic Viewers' Choice Awards. Entertainment News on Channel Television throws the spotlight on the British Nigerian actor and he speaks about winning the Best Actor Prize, taking up the role of Timmy in Breath of Life and playing Wally Shoeka in the soon-to-premiere The Man Died. It's just days after pinching the big prize over other acting titans, including Richard Mofet Damijo, Stan Nze, Latifa Dedimeji, and Gabriela Folayon, Wale Ojo is still reveling in the accolades that came with the Golden Prize. Such amazing texture. All right. He's speaking his first win from previous two nominations, and he called it third time lucky. Well, you know, I mean, you know, the MVC is, I think I've been nominated twice now over the years and uh, I haven't won. So third time lucky, as they say, and I've won this third time. And uh, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm very happy about that. And, uh, you know, it's always good to be recognized by your peers, by your colleagues in the field. So, yeah, well, it's good. Wale Ojo holds a dual citizenship of Nigeria and Britain and his acting career crisscrosses the two countries. Do you know how disgraceful you look when you do that? Benue song, yes, in Imoje. Akbu and vegetable soup with goat lungs and okoroku. Do you have any cutlery? <laughs> <laughs> In 2012, he starred in Kunle Afalaya's romantic comedy, Phone Swap, which gained huge prominence within Nollywood, but his journey into Nollywood started many years back. My very first Nollywood film was in 2004 with um, Teko Benson. And it was with Teko Benson and the late and great Justice Ashiri. And if I remember rightly, it was a movie called Six Demons. <laughs> the movie Breath of Life picked up six awards at the AMVCAs, and even with the success of the movie, Wale Ojo is still a bit reluctant to watch himself on the screen. Watching myself, I don't want to watch myself all over again. I'll just be criticizing. What some of your fans are enjoying. He, however, recollects vividly the scenes recorded, including the part where he almost smashed his co star Chimezie Imo's head with a flying china. That one. I went that one, boom, straight towards him. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, I mean, I don't know. I think I had about maybe 15 or 16 eggs that day. It's a lot of eggs. And I just said to, I said to Chimezie, I said, I'm, I'm going to fling the plate at you. So, just duck. You can't fake it. Yeah, you can't fake it. So I actually aimed for uh, a right of his face. I just, you know, I said, okay, you know, gauge it. And I would just throw, and because it was so brave, you know, you had to keep dodging, and we, we, we shot it back to back. And uh, by the time, when the trim is sweating in the scene, when you see him, yeah, he's sweating for real. <laughs> we, did, we did one after the other, bang, 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 bang. When you see me doing my face like this, and I'm waiting, it's like I'm fed up. I say, if I eat one more egg in this. <laughs> I don't know why he gets upset all the time. Ah! Whatever you do, do not talk about that. His character, Timmy, in the movie was so intense and perhaps it's one of the most intense he's ever played. I had to uh, assimilate and digest the emotional uh, uh, content of the character, you know, by thinking about the character a lot. You know, what Timmy went through, because what he went through was hell. Imagine losing your only wife and your daughter in that manner and seeing it, that's, uh, uh, that's hell, you know, that's hell. So he actually went into the depths of hell and had to come back out again. It's one hell of a journey. It's right down the rabbit hole, you know, and then you have to climb back up out again. And you're climbing up a very slippery slope. So psychologically, it's a real battle because each step, it's like you want, you want to do it alone. You don't believe in God anymore. You just want to do it alone. And you're just going, each slippery. So each, each process was a step for me. You know, I would come on set just depressed, you know? And, um, uh, and then slowly when he began to, to kind of, you know, relate with the young boy, with, uh, with Jimmy uh there had to be a transformation there, you know? And, um, and it was interesting because I remember that when Chimese started, he was, he, 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 well, not that he was skinny, but he was like, he wasn't like big. But he, he, him as an actor, was so disciplined, he kept going to the gym every day while we were filming. So by the time I started to like 
relate more to him. He was looking a bit more <laughs> buff, you know. So there was almost it was that and that helped me as an actor react to a change. As if this kid is growing with me. Timmy was an intense character to play. Um, there are lots of scenes in the movie where I'm bawling my eyes out. And I'm a bit annoyed because you, you don't see it in the film. I think the editor cuts him a bit out. On another table in the room is a script from the screen adaptation of Wale Shoinka's The Man Died, where Ojo portrayed the young Nobel laureate. The Igbos were nothing but an excuse for the military and the mafia to not do the actual work of nation building. And that, my friend, is carrying out the aims of January 15th. You should be in class teaching. Why are you always disturbing the peace of the land? The last time you held up a radio station with a gun. Now you are in bed with Ojuku. Why? I think we need a group of new entrants into this world. If I remember rightly, it goes like this. <clears throat> it says, uh, not that he loved sunrise less, but truly loves caress, whose craving must the spring devices lead. No death, nor blind lived he uh, to beauty's promise, to laughter in light hours. But these he sought to seal and to perpetuate upon the face of the earth. Yeah, just that particular, uh, you know, it, it really started to move me into, into the role. And I realized that a, a lot of his writing is what kept him alive. In 22 months in prison is what kept Wallace Shinka alive. You know, because of the power of his words. If you like, in a nutshell, the metaphysical power within his words, you know, um, uh, kept him going. Kept, kept giving him that, uh, this is my own interpretation, I might be wrong, but kept giving him the moral courage to face what uh, really at that time was a gargantuan enemy. And don't forget, every single day of those 22 months, his life was in danger. So, um, the, the talking point again from the MDC. Yes. Yes. Off screen, Wally Ojo takes time to tend to his hair and, and also showed us the view from his hotel room, the lagoon, and how he sometimes rides up to the lagoon for a quick swim. I'm probably in that pool quite a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if I, book, I book this suite, so I look at the pool, I see when the sun is out, I go in, I, I, I get into my, my swimming trunks and I, boom, I dive in. Yeah. So, so is it some creative routine for you? It is, a, it is a, no, no, it's a creative routine for me. Yeah, my gym is here, my pool is here. And, and that's why for me, Radisson Blue is one of my favorite hotels in Lagos. So if for yeah. the next one you should come and stay at Radisson Blue, yeah. swim in that pool. That's right. <laughs> yeah, 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 it'll be here. And I'll sometimes I got, I got a boat, my boat will park there at the jetty. I don't know if you can see the jetty yeah, yeah. there. And then the boat will just go, I have some land at the move out of so I'm building a kind of a, like a wooden chalet there. So the boat, 20 minute trip down the river, we stop off at Takwa Bay, I jump inside the ocean, back on the boat and back onto the chalet. <laughs> That's, That's so much fun. You're having too much fun in this Lagos.